So this package arrived today. Ken from Alaska sent me the carburetor and filter pod off of his FT500. So ever since Ken removed his stock air box and put this filter pod on, his bike's been running like crap. So the most frequent question I get, and certainly one of the top service requests, is tuning carburetors to accept filter pods and they're not doing the proper work to the carburetors in the bike to tune it correctly. I typically do a stage 3 full rebuild and jet kit and that link is in the upper right hand corner of the screen if you've got the money, time and tools to do that. But today I'm going to show you a simple method of tuning a pod to the carburetor without even having to remove the carburetor from the bike. It's just one screw and it loosens the clamp. So a filter pod bolted directly onto a carburetor does a couple of things. Um, one is it really significantly changes the airflow versus your stock air box and that throws off your air fuel mixture in your carburetor and your tuning's all messed up. And the other thing is it has a very large rubber shoulder and that's blocking the air intake port for the air jets and also the vacuum port for the slide lift and I'll also cover how to cure that. There's several different brands and types of filter pods but for Ken's FT I'm going with a Canon style cone racing filter. We see the difference in new versus old. All you have to do is remove the rubber coupler from the filter. Place the coupler over the carburetor and mark where the intake port is for the air jet and the slide lift port. Then using your precision knife, modify the rubber coupler where you marked it. So now you can see the air jet port is totally clear and the lift port is totally clear. And all this rubber was blocking those ports before I modified it. And because filter pods and velocity stacks flow a lot more air volume through them than a stock air box, and you need to adjust the flow going through the filter pod too and a lot of people just buy these lollipop kits from Nickel Town Customs and places like that that are basically restrictors for filter pods and the kits come with a variety of sizes they've got large holes and smaller holes and some even have multiple holes but basically you just drop these right into the filter pod before you install it and the orifice in the lollipop dictates the amount of air flowing through and because they're interchangeable it's basically adjustable but you really can't tune it in perfectly so what I'm going to do is show you how to make these so they're totally variable and adjustable without having to take the filter pod off or the carburetor off so what I do between the filter pod and the carburetor I make my own lollipop dial a pod tuner to make this I just need seven centimeters of this aluminum tubing. Sweet. Then deburr the rough edges with standard diamond paper. Well, that's badass. So the way this works with my runner and my lollipop is I'll have a shaft through the runner and the lollipop on the inside. So basically what happens is, is this will be full closed so only the hole of the lollipop will allow air all the way to full open. So I have full control over tuning the pods based on how open or how closed this lollipop is. I want the shaft right there. And this 6 millimeter bolt will be my rotational adjustment shaft, but it's a little long right now, so I'm going to cut off about 2 centimeters. With the adjustment shaft installed, I just need to silver solder the lollipop to it on the inside of my runner. So now it's fully adjustable, wide open to fully closed and everything in between. And to secure the shaft and to lock it when it's in adjustment, I'm just going to use this set nut. This one indicates fully closed. This one indicates fully open, the one that's in line with the runner. 
and there's minute adjustment index marks all the way in between. Okay, I have it installed back on the carburetor, and that's how you make a dial a pod intake tuning system. Same thing to tune your racing velocity stacks. Okay, I've got your new kit boxed up and ready to send back, along with five out of five Ichiban Moto stickers. And if you've got something to send me, here's the address. And subscribe for future Ichiban Moto videos. It's also cool if you like them and share them with your friends. It's badass.